We're discussing Canary Row by John Steinbeck, where the sardine fishery in the novel and in real life are the heartbeat of this sleepy seaside community. In the late 1930s, the sardine fishery was booming. I, I mean, back then, the stories that we hear is that it was seemed like it was a uh, an endless source of food and income, but unfortunately that's not what it was as they found out the hard way. You know, the, the crash of the sardines at that period is actually what prompted this study to start 70-ish years ago. Between 1936 and 1945, when Cannery Row was written and published, Central California landed an average of 332,000 tons of sardines per year. It wasn't only that the fish ran in silvery billions and money ran almost as freely. Then, between 1947 and 48, the average sardine landing dropped to 118,000 tons. Oh, that's good. That's good. In 1950, it was 33,000. Hmm, I don't yeah. know about this. Dang. By 51, it was only 961 tons. Oh, I guess that's it too good to be me. true. And in 1953, one ton of sardines was landed in Central California. To recap, in less than a decade, sardine landings went from over 300,000 tons to one. Out now on the Device Podcast, we're visiting the 1930s sardine fishery in Monterey, California, in John Steinbeck's Cannery Row. Steinbeck depicts California before the sardine crash, an event that jump-started a research project that's still going on today. The Device Podcast, your monthly book club with a science-based twist. Get reading and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Podcasts.